Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas where we are diligently planning towards success and in this video I am going to be setting up for my week in my daily planner. I don't get an opportunity to share this quite often but this is my daily go-getter girl notebook that I am using as like a journaling planner, like a daily planner and this is last week. Um, I've been writing down like the temperature in some of the boxes. I think you guys saw that a while ago. Um, I like having like a this week section at the top and maybe like a list of things that I need to take care of for the week. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and set up for this week. So what I have decided that I will be using is my Gold Mine and Cocoa um, self-care planner sticker pack that I got in my last subscription box. Uh, another Gold Mine and Cocoa subscription box is going to be coming to me November. So I want to make good use of the stickers that I have now. I did also receive some washi in this pack that I may be pulling as well. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And we're going to just dive in. I'm just going to go ahead and map out my week. And yeah, I might get an opportunity to just touch bases with you guys. So what I really need to do, you know what, let's do some getting to know you questions. Let's do that because I think that that may um, kind of help when it comes to getting a conversation flowing. And who knows, it might even lead to maybe a story time or something like that. So let's see, getting to know you. Questions. Okay, this one says not boring, so let's see. I will be the judge of that. All right. Okay, so I got the questions in front of me, so you guys will, I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. All right, so first things first, I need to go ahead and I think I might use these stickers for my shop because it has some brown in it. I just need to go ahead and find some stickers that I want to use. I know I want to use um, some of these, so I'll put that to the side. All right, so the first question is, what is your favorite way to spend a day off? Okay. All right, just to be honest with you guys, I don't have a day off during a week often, but I do have quite a few things that I like to do when it comes to me spending time on my day off. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. So first thing, if I'm in like a chill mood, what I like to do is binge watch some shows, maybe a Netflix or something like that, and just relax. That's my number one thing that I love to do if I am in like a chill mode and I'm just chilling. And that's what I want to do for my day off. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I like to do is I like to... Um, well, maybe, you know what? I was to take pulling these, but I got date covers here. Um, the second thing I like to do is clean. Like sometimes on my day off, I'll go ahead and make a note of all of the things that I got to get taken care of. And that's what your girl will do. She will clean. I will get my cleaning together, get my cleaning on. And I'll just do like a whole day of just me cleaning and getting some stuff done for that. And then the third thing that I like to do is, you know, I, I like to run errands. So on my day off, sometimes I'll have like a day where I'm just running a lot of errands. So maybe I am like... Going to the bank, going to the mall, going to the store, picking up whatever I need to pick up, something like that. So sometimes I'll do an errand day. Now, I don't like to be out. Like, I have, like, different time frames. I like to, if I'm out, I like to be out when I know everybody else is at work or in. So it just depends on, you know, the day of the week, the time, if I get an early start, all of that. I am the type of person that likes to sleep in, but my sleeping in is really like not that serious because I'm a morning person. So even if I sleep in, I'm going to be up by eight. You know, that's sleeping in to me. Maybe nine if I'm real tired. 
but for the most part like by eight o'clock I like to be up so that's what I like to do on my day off if it's just me um, if my husband is off along with me then I always have some type of activity that I like to do um, especially during the week maybe we'll do something um, I'll schedule like a massage or something like that maybe treat him to like a day date or something like that and sometimes I do that when he's at work too I'll just pick him up early uh, from work and ask him to get off early so that we can do something fun like that I haven't done that in a while so that's something that I really need to work on planning again soon I'm sure he would appreciate and enjoy that all right so this week we have some don't forgets so we'll put that there then I also have this brain dump here that I just want to put down and I had some yes this is what I want to do I got an extra here we go all right second question um best vacation you ever took first of all your girl loves vacation okay and to be honest with you i don't even think i've ever taken my best vacation but i just like vacation um i will say that we have had um like an international trip that was really really nice when we went to brazil um we also have had some vacations that you know like we like cruises and things of that nature so that's always a plus as well. Um, I'm trying to think of this. Anything else that I wanted to mention? I think that's pretty much it. But one thing that I really loved about our international trip was there, that we were there for a while. Maybe like 10 days, 10 to 11 days. And we got to go with my mom and some of my, one of my best friends. And, um... I really enjoyed and appreciated that it was it was very very um it was it was a great time was had by all let me just say that we had a great time so that was one okay let's see last thing that you read that's easy to buy oh that's the last thing that I read but I think the last thing that I read for pleasure was um and I don't even know if it was for pleasure but I the last thing that I actually read in its entirety was the um influencer book it was an ebook an influencer ebook by Tina Meeks loved it very very I need to get back on track with it but it's very good if you've seen it or heard about it you can follow her on Instagram she sells it, so I purchased that, and I read that. That's the last thing that I've read. Would you say you're more of an introvert or an extrovert? Definitely an extrovert. I'm very social. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm very social. That's one reason why this whole panoramic thing was uh, very difficult for me, because your girl like to be around people, okay? So it was hard. Um, favorite ice cream topping. Okay, that's this is a good one, y'all. This is a good one. Now, I'm going to tell you, my favorite ice cream topping is chocolate fudge. Because your girl just loves chocolate. What is it? I'm in love with the cocoa, but not that kind of cocoa. I'm talking about chocolate. Yes, I love chocolate. And so, um, with that... That is my favorite topic, um, topping on my ice cream. However, my favorite ice cream, my favorite ice cream is strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Any kind of cheesecake with strawberries in it, like actually Brewster's, they sell like a strawberry cheesecake that I love, but that's my favorite, y'all. I just love me some strawberry cheesecake. I don't know what it is. I just love me some strawberry cheesecake. I just do. Oh, I just love me some strawberry cheesecake. So that's my favorite. That is my favorite. Um, 
Okay, girl. She doing her thing. Let's put her down there. And we're going to put this on this side. Just so we can separate the days. Alright. And she is having herself a good old time. So we're going to put her there. And I think I'm going to put her. I really just want to put her here. Actually, I might put her on top of the date. So let's see. Alright, so I have... Where are my days? These these are the dates that I'm using. So we got Monday. Let's get a Tuesday up here. And then we'll put Wednesday over here. And I'll just stick her here because she is cute. And then let me finish Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. Let's get let's get some more washi. Let's get the blue. All right. So I already answered the ice cream. You guys see, I'm getting distracted. If you can only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not that type of girl where I can eat the same thing over and over again. Now, my favorite food is macaroni and cheese. I used to say that I could eat anybody's macaroni and cheese, but now I realize that as I've gotten older, my taste is a little bit pickier than I can recall or than I remember. So, I can't just eat anybody's macaroni and cheese no more. But, I love mac and cheese. That's my favorite. I could definitely eat it every week. But I definitely can't eat it every day because cheese and the way the way cheese and I have our relationship, mm -mm. we don't we don't mesh like we used to. So I have to be mindful of how much cheese I'm eating and all that jazz. However, I still love it. Still love my mac and cheese. All right, so. That will have to be like one of my favorite foods. All right, let's see. Do you like going to the movies or watching a movie at home? Let me tell y'all something. Both. Both. I, I just like movies. Now, I do like the movie theater experience. Now, I don't know if anybody else is like this. If you are, make sure you holler at your girl in the comments. When I go to the movie theater... I have to have the whole experience like yes I'm gonna get popcorn I don't care if it's five dollars or ten dollars or how much ever it's gonna be if I'm at the theater you know we're gonna do it cuz I'm kind of like all or nothing when it comes to certain things if I can't afford to do it then I ain't doing it because I want to I know that when I get there I'm gonna want the experience and to be honest with you yes I can make popcorn at home and I have I have made popcorn at home. Like, even if I do movie night at home, I have the works. You know, I got the popcorn. I got the movie theater butter. I pop it myself in the popcorn popper so it could be fresh. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. We working. We working. Um, so, yes. But I do. I just love movies. And I'm the type of person where I like movies so much that I can watch the same movie over and over. There are even some movies that you can watch right here on YouTube that I have found to be very, very good. Um, and like you can just watch them. Like I think there's like a um, Film Rise channel. I've been getting into Nollywood movies. My best friend Tan has been getting me into those. So there's a few Nollywood movies that I've watched on YouTube that are pretty good. And I can watch them over and over again. Like for real, for real. Sure can. Okay. How old 
how old were you when you had your first celebrity crush and who was it? To be honest, I don't know how old I was. But I've always liked Shamar Moore. He was my celebrity He's my first celebrity crush that I know of. Now, I'm be honest. He ain't still my celebrity crush, but he was my first one. And that was like a long time ago. I had to been maybe maybe 12 or 13. I don't even know. Um, favorite meal. What is your favorite meal? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast. I love breakfast. I can eat breakfast any time of the day. I just love breakfast. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I love breakfast. So that is my favorite meal. I can have it for dinner, which actually, if you've been watching my meal planning stuff, you know that I do have, make sure that we have breakfast or dinner at least once a month. And then also I can have it for um, brunch, of course. I can have breakfast anytime. I just love breakfast. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to have this girl with her wine on Saturday. Because honey, your girl got plans. She got plans. And I'm down for her. We're going to stick beside them. All right, let's see. When you were a kid, did you eat the crust on your sandwich or not? Now, that's a really good question, y'all. Please comment down below and let me know if you ate the crust off your sandwich. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. We did eat the crust off our sandwich because my mom ain't play that. We ain't play them type of games. You ain't wasting nothing, okay? These type of stuff is hard to come by, especially if you're a single parent. No, ma'am. We don't have time for you to be playing games, playing with the food, just playing with the food. Uh-uh, you got to eat all of it. However, what I would do is because the crust was not my favorite part, I would always eat the crust first. I would eat the crust all the way around my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then I would save the best for last, which is the middle section without the crust. And to this day, I still eat peanut butter and jelly that way. I don't know what it is, but I still eat it that way. In my mind, it was you saving the best for last. So go ahead, girl. Save the best for last. Go ahead and um, eat what you can eat. And then, you know, make sure. Make sure you get that crust gone because, you know, you ain't need no problems. We ain't want no problems. So, yeah, that's what I did. That's exactly what I did, and I enjoyed it. And I still eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to this day that same way. Isn't that something? If y'all do something similar, let me know. Because I always thought that was weird, but hey, it's what I do. It's unique, not weird, I should say. Alright, so I pretty much got everything down the way that I want. The only thing I need is maybe I'll add a few boxes. Or maybe another. See, actually Mondays and Wednesdays are kind of like busy days for me. So, if I can just put something down here so that I can make sure I get certain things done so yeah let's see I do need to make some clean eating plans but mm, your girl has been wilding and has not been eating clean at all at all y'all I really have I have been going crazy So let's put some notes here. I'm just adding some like little decorative elements. Maybe a little flower here. So I'm just adding some pieces here. I just need to make sure that it's, it looks good enough and it takes up enough space but it's already decorated so that all I got to do is go in and plan. So let's see, let's see, do I have any more boxes? Let's answer one more question. And then I'm gonna end this video. Are you a fan of musicals, why or why not? Yes, I am a huge fan of musicals, you guys. I love musicals, I love music. So I think that's one reason why I'm a huge fan of musicals. Also, I, my mom like instilled in my siblings and I a love of the arts. So we love plays and musicals. Like 
we um, live in, you know, of course, I'm in Charleston, but I, I'm from Charleston. And here we have what's known as the Spoleto Festival. And it's kind of like an arts festival. It's amazing. Um, you know, you, my mom would make sure that she would take us every year to get a chance to see, like, either a puppet show, a play, or something like that. We would do, like, the Ebony Fashion Fair. Like, all those type of things we would do. And so I love musicals because I love the idea of just bursting into song. And even sometimes while my husband and I are just chatting, he might say a word that makes me think of a song or he may say something, a phrase from a song and your girl will just take it and run. OK, we just we just love music. We love music in my house and we love I love musicals. My husband, maybe not so much, but but he will take your girl to a play every once in a while. Thanks, boo. All right, you guys, I think that's it. If I have anything else that I need to add, I'll probably add it throughout the week. The only other thing that I need to do is add my numbers. So let me see if I could go ahead and add my numbers. I'll probably use numbers from Lux Never Crafts, of course. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually... My mind just went somewhere else, you guys. I was like, wait, I got some numbers somewhere else that I could use. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just stick to the Lux Clever Crafts numbers. Just because. All right, let's put them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Let's see. Um... I remember where I put them at right here I had them out but I just had them under something let's just do the blue and today is the 18th so we're gonna start there and we're just gonna go ahead and lay the stickers down So 18, and 23 and then we're just going to do a quick flip through even though you guys have seen it oh, and we need 24 there we go so we got that done the only other thing I was thinking of is maybe I need like some checklist or some little icons or something i don't really see icons in here well we got some self-care healthy diet plans make yourself proud you know what yeah i'm gonna just leave it i'm just gonna leave it the way it is all right so this is what i got you guys and really Everything will fill in once I start writing. But I have my gold mining cocoa. It looks so, so cute. Just got some dolls there. Got spaces for Monday through Sunday. And then we will go ahead and continue on for the next week. And I may go ahead and use maybe like some also paper or something of that nature. But I hope you guys enjoyed me getting an opportunity to put this down and just to chat with you guys a little bit. I hope you've learned something about me. I can't wait to hear and learn some things about you guys in the comments down below. Make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe to Crystal Clear Ideas. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.